hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here with me today i have a beyonce inspired makeup tutorial this was requested by michelle hey michelle thank you michelle and um this is a perfect summer makeup look like perfect simple eye makeup very clean skin nobody needs to be wearing tons of makeup in this heat guys please i know it is your face i know and you can do whatever the fuck you want but i am just i'm putting my foot down no 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 okay so this is what we're doing for summer okay we're all agreeing we're doing clean skin for summer it is just too hot for all of this um but this is make this makeup is perfect if you guys want to see how i got this look please keep on watching okay so let's get started uh i'm gonna just prime my face first and i'm using the fancy beauty uh primer and i'm also going to go in with my revlon primer I'm not starting with my face I'm just um, I'm just priming first so that everything can just settle into the skin so this is what I'm also going to use the FX um, there you go the FX primer and I'm just using the applicator to push the product into the skin so I was going to try and like dress like Beyonce but yeah girl doesn't have doesn't have anything that resembles anything that Beyonce wears so I was trying to do some green and it's like okay I don't have it so okay so now we're gonna do eye I'm just gonna use some concealer for my base to cancel out any of that discoloration on the lids and also it's going to act as a base for my eyeshadow now I just set everything so from what I'm looking at with this picture Beyonce looks like she's wearing um Hmm. very tricky but it looks like she's wearing like an, a rose gold on her lid but I'm gonna start off and she's like got some darkness right on the crease on the outer crease so I'm gonna start off with the base color for my shadows and I'm gonna go in with bandit from Colourpop and I'll just use this as my as my base eyeshadow just to get some color on there starting it on the actual lid of the eye and then I'm blending upwards and outwards so it's just creating almost like that V that cat like um, effect on the outer corner so you guys can see the two eyes the difference okay so now I'm gonna go in with mittens from Colourpop as well and I'm going to pop mittens right um, by the crease here but not taking it like inwards so I'm concentrating most of the color like sort of taking the color halfway and you want to use a skinny blending brush for that so we're just deepening out this outer corner area first
I'm just gonna go back with my first brush and I'm just gonna blend everything together. And remember to pull the eyeshadow outwards, like so. I'm just going back in with Bandit, just to blend up here, because I feel like I've lost Bandit a bit. And now I'm going to do at the top what I did at the bottom. So I'm going to take bandits again and I am just going to run that on my lower lash line on uh, a flat, small shader brush. So it's almost like the rule with makeup. What you do at the top, you do at the bottom. You know, I mean, the rule doesn't always apply, but what you do at the top, you do at the bottom. I'm actually going to run bend it all throughout the lower lash line. What I love about these Colourpop eyeshadows is that they're not powdery so they don't go into your eye. I'm going to go into Mittens which is the darker eyeshadow and I am going to concentrate most of this on the outer corner. Almost like what we did at the top, basically. Like so. So you see that the outer corner is starting to deepen out a bit more. And then for lid color, I'm going to mix um, Game Face from Colourpop with cutting it from mac which is cutting it is like a a rose gold eyeshadow and game face is more of a coppery um gold so i'm just going to mix them together because that's what uh beyonce's eye makeup kind of looks to me so rose gold first actually So what I'm going to do is take the color up way up onto my crease area because when you look at uh, Beyonce's makeup look, it looks very um, glittery even in that area. So this is why adding that base color was so helpful. This sun is just doing too much right now. Okay, and then I'm going to go over that with the coppery gold. Because it was, it doesn't look overly rose goldy to me. So I'm just going to mix these two together. I'm going to go into my mac neutrals warm neutrals palette and i'm gonna take i think i'm gonna take this gold color here i'm not quite sure what the name is but they've got the names at the back so i'm just gonna take this gold color which is more of a a yellow gold and she drags it down to the bottom Like so, I hope you guys can see this as clearly. Okay, now I'm not quite sure if this is something that they actually did. I'm not sure who did this look. I don't know if it's the John, um, but I am gonna go in with a black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna do the slightest sort of smoking out the outer corner with a black eyeshadow, just like non-existent on a um, angled brush. Just like the tiniest bit. 
nothing hectic honestly nothing hectic and I'm gonna go at the bottom as well like tiniest bit and I'm just gonna blend that out with another small shade of brush I'm gonna do my lashes off camera and then I'll be right back okay so my eyes are done I'm just going to zoom you guys in and show you what I have done so these are the eyes so all I did was just add lashes and um, mascara I've obviously already done my eyebrows if you guys care for a tutorial a brow tutorial from me please let me know and I will get that done okay so foundation I am gonna go in with a foundation from Clinique I am not quite sure what this foundation is but I'm gonna go in with that I've already primed my skin as you guys saw so I'm gonna do very light very Beyonce very Hollywood skin nothing too drastic now obviously Beyonce's got great skin so she can go light and very skin like if you have a bit more if you've got more problems on your skin of course you know cover them um, but you don't have to go too heavy because remember that with each step you're layering product so you're gonna have foundation then you're gonna do concealer um, so just remember just be mindful of the fact that you have so many steps and you're doing powder so you do not need to like lay a ton of product on just for coverage because you are going to get coverage either way uh, so for more skin like finish just do very light layers and then you will you will build with more products well with the different products that you add on so i'm concentrating a bulk of the product in the center of my face as you guys can see and it's a very light Oh my god, I actually hate doing eyebrows first because I don't know why I did that actually, but okay. I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Concealer. Just like so. And just mesh these two together so I don't look too different. And I'm going to use a bit of this on my forehead as well. Okay, and that's foundation done. For under eye concealer, I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty concealer. And I am taking this on a brush. And I'm just going to pop this under the eyes. Blend skin in. Okay. And then I'm just going to take espresso and I'm going to take a bit. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. A little bit. And I'm going to use my brush here just to blend this in.
okay so now i'm just going to take some tissue and i'm just going to blot off any of that excess oil from the products that i just used you can always do this before you powder your skin just so that you're not powdering on top of oil you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna go in again and just make sure everything is blended blend under my eyes so there's no creases This is how you naturally create dimension on your face um, you do not have to use a ton of highlighter a ton of uh, contour a ton of anything you can literally create dimension as you guys can see i literally am contoured and highlighted but it is very natural and very skin like still so now i'm going to powder and i'm going to take my trusty black opal powder in medium three i love this powder and I'm just going to naturally just set everything. Um, if I didn't have, if I had perfect skin, I wouldn't even do this step because like it looks so beautiful. But I am oilier than a mother. So I need to make sure that I set everything. Well, I mean, it's just good to set everything even when you have perfect skin. But I just loved how glowy the skin was also how do you guys feel about wearing makeup in summer i am honestly i'm abandoning makeup in summer i am not doing this in summer i am so sorry no it is too hot in south africa right now too hot for makeup this is why i don't do my eyebrows first look at my brows now but it is just too hot in south africa for makeup and I am not going to do this to myself unless I'm going like somewhere, you know, or I'm going to see a boy or something. But other than that, I am not wasting my time. No way, Jose. I'm going to take Max um, Raisin. Max Raisin is not a slight flush, <laughs> but I'm going to take because I'm just too lazy to get up and get something else. I'm just going to lightly add Max Raisin. just to the contours well i'm mixing the contour and the blush together just slightly slightly girl okay slightly Okay, I think that is slight. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. And I am now going to do some highlighting. Fenty Beauty highlighter and tripping. And you guys know how I use tripping on the brush. And just work her onto the skin beyonce's skin is not doing she's not highlighted to the gods she is literally it's it's just beautiful perfect skin really barely their makeup and really the star of the show are her eyes so and beyonce doesn't do like hectic makeup usually so and Mava is wearing a very um, nude. She's wearing a nude, but like that ombre needy look with lip gloss on top. So I'm just gonna lightly line my lips just for a bit of definition. Like those. Oh. 
and then i'm going to go over that with the max lip gloss in prancing dancing this is from the nutcracker um set Beyonce's lips are very glossy, so you can go quite glossy. The perfect gloss, I think, would be that Fenty Beauty one. I don't have that though. I'm just going to line again. There's a... Um, hmm. There's a... Uh, no, there's a pinkiness that I'm not quite getting. So I'm going to go in again. I think I'm going to go. This is um, Max Editorial Oranges. And I'm going to add that to this. There's just a pinkiness that I don't quite get. So this is the Beyonce inspired makeup look done. I don't think I got the lip exactly like how she's got it, but you know it's fine. You know we win some, we lose some, yeah. But this is exact. This is the look that I got. I'm gonna zoom in just to show you guys the skin because I'm actually in love with the skin and the eyes, but I'm in love with the skin. Okay. Hello skin. Hello, hello. Um, and then these are the eyes. I've already showed you guys, but here you go very very clean very very simple so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you guys in my next one so cheers